According to a research done by the experts from the Ministry of Education, about 73% of Ugandans do not know how to read and write. The Ministry of Education and Sports, in partnership with the Kampala Capital City Authority, has therefore organized a short program codenamed Dear Day. The 20-minute reading and writing program will take place on March 15th, 2017 with the name of improving on the reading culture in Uganda. According to the executive director of the Kampala Capital City Authority, Jennifer Musisi, they are tightening requirements for schools to start in Kampala City. We find this information that we find on the streets. People will take a lot of time reading it, but give them a book on economic development or development of communities or agriculture or how to manage your business properly, you'll find that very few people actually have the, the interest to read these kinds of materials, which they should be reading more than what we, the popular materials that people read. So in this exercise, as we celebrate and profile this day, we want to encourage people to read but also read the right materials that will help them, that will develop them, that will cause change in their lives. The Assistant Commissioner in Charge of Primary Education, Dr. Tony Mukasa Lusambu, shared their strategy of enhancing reading and writing in Kampala. The idea of gazetting the day specifically for the promotion of reading and culture is the hallmark of the education sector policy that seeks to attain universal national literacy by 2030. The United States of America Embassy in Uganda has pledged its support to this effect. We heard already about the benefits of literacy, and you are right, it is truly a disability, and for particularly, not just for the older, for adults who may find themselves at a very a grave disadvantage by not being able to read, but certainly for children feel so frustrated that they cannot understand and unlock the world around them. So it is absolutely critical that from an early age, as, as an early age as possible, we can promote an interest in reading um, and help them understand uh, how they can unlock the mysteries of language uh, and use them to their advantages as, we, as they move forward in their lives. Musisi further urged parents to build home libraries to keep children building their reading capacities. Everybody has books, disused books, that their children used to use in their homes. And every year you buy new books, new books, new books that the children grow. And those books are piling up. And if we set up a book bank, these materials could be brought and recirculated to people that can actually use them. The Ministry of Education and Sports, with full involvement, requests the public to promote the culture of reading and writing in order to compete with other countries. Report filed by Alozia Satwine for Urban Television.